Hey guys, it's Shannon, and if you're wondering what this is right here, that is Simon, my kitty cat. He is joining us. He's going to hang out up there for the video. But what this video is going to be today is exciting for me. So um, I have talked on this channel just recently about journaling and my journal, and several of you have asked to see a journal flip, flip, <laughs> flip through, and I think that's pretty cool because those are one of my favorite videos to watch. So I thought I'd go ahead and do a really short one just to see, you know, kind of if you guys like it, if you want to see more. Um, if you do, let me know in the comments because I do have a lot of other finished journals that I could share. But the one we're going to look at today, this is just a really small one. Um, this is basically, if you've heard of the Midori Traveler's Notebook, this is the same size insert as a Traveler's Notebook insert, but it's just one that I made. So it's just made with like a textured cardstock and scrapbooking paper and um, good old plain printer paper. <laughs> so I made this because we were doing just a short little two day trip to the beach to see family and I thought it would be kind of fun to just take some journaling stuff with me to the hotel and um, you know just journal the trip. So let's go ahead and look in here. I did take stickers with me. I took my little mobile printer and I took a little bit of washi tape so that I could do this there in the room. And it worked out really well. I enjoyed it. So here is the first page. This is just the cover. It has the date. So this was from September of 2016. And I just did a little sticker here that says beach and some little beach chairs. And there's a picture of Paul and I at the ocean. And I just really like it. I wanted to include a picture of us at the beginning just because that was us on our trip. <laughs> Okay, so I added scrapbooking paper in here and I kind of thought that I would end up putting pictures and covering this up, but some of them just looked so cute I decided to leave. So this was one of those. I just loved it because it says like summertime and beach bun, beach bum, <laughs> fun in the sun and you know has beach balls and drinks and palm trees and I just thought it was pretty. Okay, so I have a couple spots in the journal that are going to be covered up, and that's only because it has other people's names or information about them that I didn't think I should put out on the internet. So other than that, everything is uncovered. Um, so this page, this is the trip down there. I used some washi tape with suitcases, which I really love. And here's a little picture I included. Um, you have to go over a drawbridge to get to the Outer Banks of North Carolina. By the way, that's where we went, in case I don't think I said that. Um, so you have to go on a drawbridge, and we actually got stuck on the drawbridge, and we had to wait for a boat to cross. So I just snapped this little picture from the car because it was just so beautiful and peaceful, like out there in the middle of the water. And, you know, it's just a skinny little road and the water, and it was so pretty. So it makes me think I need to take a cruise one day because I really enjoyed being out there. So you guys can let me know if you've ever cruised, if you love it or not. Um, okay, and then on this page, I just have a little sandcastle and shell sticker. Next page here is me at the beach house that some of our family had rented. I'm just standing there with a cup of water and a pretzel. So I included this little drink sticker here. I just thought it was really cute. And yeah, that's that page. So this page here is just some more cute beach themed paper. And this little tag is from Paul's Swim Trunks. Paul's my husband, for those of you that aren't familiar with this channel. Um, these were on his new swim trunks that he bought and I just thought the tag was really cool. So I just used some washi tape and I just stuck it right there on the page. Okay, here are some little beach themed stickers. I have a little octopus and um, seaweed or jellyfish and seaweed. These stickers were from the Dollar Tree, so you can get some really cute stickers for journaling at the Dollar Tree, which is really awesome. Next page, I just included a picture of my husband and I again out in front of the water, and here's a picture of me and my two sons, which I just really enjoyed having a picture of all of us together, and just some more little beach stickers. Then on this page, I have some beach themed washi tape here and more stickers. I have this little guy here because I was talking about the crabs that are on the beach down in the Outer Banks. They're white, they're like ghost crabs. So when you walk at night, there's tons of them like everywhere and they run and they skitter trying to get away from you and they just kind of freak me out. It kind of makes me want to wear like rain boots or something um, when I'm down there, <laughs> but my kids love them. They are really cool. So I just wanted to tell that little story. So that's why I have the little crab there. And then this page, this is more scrapbooking paper. It's just like a sand kind of look. 
and have this adorable little whale. Then after we came up off the beach, we went swimming at the hotel swimming pool and the pool was really cool because it had this like neon blue light in it and it like lit up the whole water. It, it was the coolest thing. Seriously, it was awesome. So I just put a little beach, um, not beach, a little bathing suit up there and some words. So then this is the next day. We went down to the hotel lobby to have breakfast. They have a buffet breakfast and Casey, my youngest son, he had a plate full of bacon. It was huge. So I had to take a picture and here's my other son. Then after breakfast, we walked across the street to Duck Donuts. If you've ever been to a Duck Donuts, they make the most amazing donuts in the entire world. So this was the first time my kids had ever been to a Duck Donuts. So we just took a picture of the sign outside, included a little gift card. And then this little guy was actually, they had coloring sheets up in the um, lobby of the donut shop. So I picked one up and I put him in there. Next up is we went back down to the water uh, there were a lot of surfers out this day, which was pretty cool. I don't know if you can see, but there's tons of them out there. And then we started collecting seashells, which is one of our favorite things to do. So I just included those pictures and we have some little, you know, sandcastles and beach accents. More of that washi tape. Just finishing telling the story about the shells. And here are some cute little stickers. And then this page and this picture my oldest son, he just seems to have this history of no matter when we go to the ocean, no matter which ocean it is or which beach it is, he always finds like a chunk of concrete that has washed up out of the ocean and he likes to take those home and collect them. So there he is walking with this chunk of concrete. He carried it up and down at the beach. It was really funny and I just wanted to remember, remember that. Next page talks about us coming up to go swimming from the beach. It was really cold and freezing in the outdoor pool, so we ended up moving to the indoor pool. But I just included some cute little stickers just to go with the journaling. Again, talking more about that. And then here, this is talking about getting ready to go to lunch. Um, my husband, Paul, he pulled up some menus online because we were trying to figure out where we wanted to go eat. And there was this place called Barefoot Bernie's and I'm going to show it right here. So they had this thing listed in the menu and as soon as we read it out loud to Casey, he was like, oh, we have to go there. So it's called the Texas Beast Burger. It's a half pound of ground Angus sirloin topped with American cheese, crispy fried onion rings, barbecue ranch dressing, lettuce and tomato between two bacon grilled cheese sandwiches. Can you finish the beast? So yes, it's two grilled cheese sandwiches with a burger in the middle. So he definitely wanted to try that challenge. So we decided to take him. And when we got there, we found out that was only a dinner item, not a lunch item. So he was really disappointed. But the really nice people of the restaurant went ahead and made it for him anyway, which was awesome. Totally made his day. So there he is with his beast burger. And yes, he did finish it. And here's just um, information about the restaurant. So if you're ever in the Outer Banks of North Carolina, definitely go check them out. Everybody's food was delicious. We really loved it. And then after lunch, we stopped at Starbucks and got some treats. I had a mocha frap. It was delicious. Then um, we were getting ready to head back over to the beach house. So here's just a picture of me at our hotel out in front of the fountain. They have a really pretty fountain. So um, I was just sitting there waiting for one of my sons and Paul took a picture. So while we were waiting, a hotel employee walked by and he's like, everybody get in the picture. So he took a picture of all of us by the fountain, which was really nice. And then I just have more pictures here or more stickers. Then that night, um, everybody wanted pizza for dinner. So we went to this place called Slice. It was delicious. Another place I'd recommend. So that's just from their menu. I just picked it up and put it in here just so I could remember it. Okay, then this page is just talking about us heading home for the night because we were heading back home to um, our house the next morning. So I just have some little stickers here. And then this is just a final page. This is like a group family photos that we had taken with everybody that was down there for the trip. And last but not least, I got this out of one of the like um, 
uh, what do you call those? The little magazines that you can get like in touristy areas, they're in hotel lobbies and stuff. It was one of those little magazines and I just thought it's really cool because it's a map of the Outer Banks and I thought that was pretty cool. So I just got that and stuck it in here. And I think that's it. Oh no, I also have the room thing. So this is the little um, carrier you get and I just put our room key in here just, just because. So that is it. There's a couple, I didn't finish every page in the book. That doesn't bother me. You know, they're just in there. And that's the whole thing. So I, this is the first time I ever wrote in this size book. I really enjoyed it. Um, I think it's really fun to flip back through. And I just, I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. So let me know what you think. If you guys wanna see more journal flip throughs and stuff like that, let me know in the comments. I'd be glad to do it. And if you have any journal flip throughs of yourself, let me know, I'd like to check them out. Thanks so much for watching guys. I will see you in the next video.